Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Homeo TV. Today I will tell you about Dorico's voicing notation and some tips regarding multi-voice playback. If you're a beginner, make sure to watch my other tutorials first so you can get a good grip on the basics. So let's see how Dorico's voicing notation works. If I enter into note input mode, next to the location where note input is activated, Dorico will show a quarter note with the stem up. This means that Dorico is now inserting notes in the first voice of your staff, and that is the default settings whenever you start note input. Now let's add a bunch of notes. I'm gonna enter into chord mode. Oh, I am, I am already in the chord mode, so I'm just gonna click here. Great. But what if I want to enter notes in the second voice? It's easy. For that, I will enter into note input mode and press V on my keyboard to swap note input to second voice, which is my down stem voice. And you'll notice that the stem of the orange note indicator is now pointing down, telling us that any note input will now be inserted into the second voice. All right, let's add some notes now. Great. That was for up stem and down stem voice. And what if you want to add a second up stem or a second down stem voice? So for that, I just enter into note input mode. And what I can do is use the key command shift V and you can see the orange note indicator uh, around the carrot changed to plus two with a, with a downstem voice, which means that this is our second downstem voice. And I'm gonna just enter notes. And if I press shift V again, I'll, I can now add a second upstem voice. This is good for those uh, Bach fugues if you are <laughs> engraving them or any sort of complex notation. And uh, if you want to swap between them, swap between all these voices, you can just easily press V, so without the shift. And you can see I'm swapping between them. And whatever you swap into, the note, in note input will be uh, for that. There's also this super useful context menu where if you select a group of notes or a single note or whatever location you want, so for example this one, and I right click, you can go down to voices and there's a bunch of nice stuff here. So for example, if I do uh, go to change voice, you can change, uh, change it to up stem voice or down stem voice, or you can uh, actually change it into a new up stem voice or new downstem voice. So let's try. So now it's a new upstem voice. Now, let me tell you two important ways to distinguish your voicings when you see them. First is that you can easily see what note belongs to which voicing in your score by highlighting it and looking at the information box below. So let's see if I highlight this one, which is the whole group. You can see below that it says upstem voice one. And if I highlight this one, it says upstem voice one. And the other way, which is uh, really nice and fun, uh, is to add colors to your notes. For that, just go to the view drop down menu right here and go down to uh, notes and rest colors and click on voice colors and then each of your voices will get a new color which is really handy for teaching harmony stuff or even complex voice leadings and uh, remember the shortcuts uh, V and shift V that I told you other than those you can also use this button on the left to achieve similar results so for example I'm gonna just select a, a note and if I press it right here, it will act as if you are uh, pressing V. Where is it? Yeah, right here. So it will uh, swap your voices between the upstem voice one 
and downstem vo voice one. But if I right click on it, and then you have this one, which is the same as I told you, it's just uh, the pressing V. This top one is uh, works as uh, creating voice, so it's the same as the shift V, but this one is to create slash voices. So let me show you how. I'm gonna add a voicing here. Oh, actually, let me add here first. So I'm gonna enter note input mode. Uh, right, and you see when I pressed it, when I pressed this uh, uh, slash note, the orange note indicator changed into a slash note, which means that whatever you do, it's going to add slash notes. And you can also combine them with uh, uh, the, the notation that you had before. So you can have normal ones and also slash ones in whichever voicings that you have. You can also put them down stem voice. Oh, and uh, by the way, did you know that uh, Georgi Ligeti composed a piece for solo organ that burned out uh, the organ on the first try out of the piece? Oh, I made a video about it, and if you want to learn more, you can watch the video here. Okay, now playback. So by default, when you add dynamics to notes, Dorgo will play all the voices with the same dynamics indication. So for example, and check this piano score where I have two stabs and two voices also indicated by the colors. And now if I add a dynamic by highlighting the location and using the key command shift D for dynamics. So I'm going to add a, a triple forte here. It will play both of them with the same dynamics. So I'm going to play. But if you want to have different dynamics, it involves two extra steps. So let's say I want to have separate dynamics for these steps. I will highlight a note. Um, first, actually, I'm going to delete this one. I will highlight a note, then enter into note input mode by pressing enter on my keyboard. And after that, I will use the key command shift D to open dynamics popover and then add dynamics. So I'm gonna add, now this time, quadruple forte is just for a bit of exaggeration when we hear it. And uh, this time I'm gonna hold Alt and press Enter. Okay, I will do the same for the, uh, for the lower staff, but this time with another dynamic. So I'm just gonna select it, enter into note input mode, Shift D, multiple pianos, and hold Alt on my keyboard while pressing Enter. Great. All right, now let's try to see if it works. Awesome. One more thing is that if you have instruments notated in one staff, for example, this flute here, whoop, this one. Uh, and by any chance you wanted uh, separate dynamics to uh, create a mock-up or, or any version of an instrument that you wanted, uh, there is one more tiny step to do. Check these notes. I wrote them in separate voicings and I added the dynamics separately by the method I just told you. And if I play it back, you'll notice that both notes are being played back with the same dynamics. And we don't want this. But in order to change it, I will head to the Play tab up here, select my instrument by clicking on it. Well, now I have only flute here, but just in case for you to know, I select my instrument by clicking on this track here. And then there is this button called Enable Independent Voice Playback. So I just click on it. And then you see that there are two voices added to my flute. So Dorico is now going to play back two individual voices. I'm going to go back. And if I play it,
And yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section and as usual, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really helps me out to make more content and if you already did, then you're super awesome. See you next time and Mayun out.